Welcome. The subject of this video is how to build an all NPN transistor H-bridge motor control. This is your host Lewis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Here's a schematic you saw in another video on the H-bridge. Um, Q1 and Q2 are both power PNP transistors. Well, Q3 and Q4 are power NPN transistors. The problem gets to be a lot of times it's difficult to find power PNP transistors. I went through the component drawers at Radio Shack the other day and while they had two N3055s that are NPNs and TIP120s that are NPNs there was no power PNP anything to be found anywhere. Oh, they also had TIP41s, all power NPNs, and this creates a problem for a lot of people is that the power PNP transistors are simply hard to find, and when you do find them, they're expensive. So the purpose of this is let's get rid of the power PNP transistors and use all NPN. This is a new circuit that I came up with uh, and it works quite well. Note before I get into this that I'm going to use um, positive current flow and not negative as in the other videos because people found it was easier to use. Both are correct. A lot of people depending on what college you're in or the military, the military uses negative flow a lot of college engineering courses use positive flow. I'm going to stick with positive flow here. Let's look at what we got. Q1 is a 2N2907. It is an NPN, excuse me, PNP transistor, but it's a small one. Not one of the heavy, expensive, hard to find power type. Q2 is a run of a mill, small signal, 2N2222. That's an MPS2222 at Radio Shack. And Q3, while listed as a TIP120, could easily have been a uh, could have easily has been a 2N3055. Also, or a uh, TIP41. Nonetheless, this is how this works. A high on the input of Q2 switches Q2 on. I have a collector emitter current. The collector emitter current of Q2 is the same thing as IB of Q1. Creates an emitter base current here. Switches on Q1 emitter to collector. So IC of Q1 in reality is IB of Q3. Thus it switches this transistor on and this load down here represents a heavy motor or whatever you got. So what you have essentially down here now is IE. For all practical reasons it is IC plus a little bit of current from IB. And we have a huge current flowing from Q3 collector to emitter. Here is another variation of the same circuit. So I could get out of using two transistors. I decide to use an optocoupler. An optocoupler allows me to connect directly to the microcontroller without having to deal with that high VCC problem getting into the Arduino or PIC and destroying them. A high will switch the internal infrared LED on. That will switch on Q2, which creates a current flow collector emitter to Q1 through a 1K resistor. In this case, the IC of Q1, Q2 in the optocoupler is the IB of Q1 over here on your right. Q1 switches on, and it's the same thing we saw before, creates a heavy current from collector to emitter. Now here is the H-bridge that you saw in the first frame, but I've substituted both Q1 and Q2 are now NPN transistors, the same type as Q3 and Q4, 
Note they're all the same now. They just happen to be TIP 120s. Here in the corners at D1 and D2 designations are some 4N 25 optocouplers. They're about 50 cents a piece or something. Not bad. Let's see how this works now. All right. LED, I put a high in on the LED. It switches the uh, transistor, or it's called the uh, switch, in designated in D1. I create a current flow through R1, through Q1 base emitter, and it flows through the motor positive to negative, and then down through Q4. That's my complete path. The motor now should be turning clockwise. Let's reverse this. I switched on D2 over here and I switched on Q3 down at the bottom. So my current path is through with D2 switched on is through Q2 through the motor negative to positive then through Q3 to ground. The motor should be running counterclockwise. And that's it. That's a little more transistor theory. I hope it was useful to you. It would be easier, like I said, to use this schematic with all NPNs instead of fighting to f find PNP transistors. Thanks for listening and visit my website.